Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Steve Fundero. A little bit of a dynamic day today. Looked pretty cool from the time lapse. There were some areas of patchy fog this morning. Gave way to some bright sunshine through the early morning hours. Clouds thickened up right around the late morning when you're getting after that fourth or fifth cup of coffee. Then some of the showers blew through the region or blasted through the region. A couple downpours quickly developed as the front made its way into Hampton Roads. And then just like that, it was out of here. We were back to seeing some brighter conditions as the sun was setting upon the western horizon. But the big area low pressure swirling up towards the Great Lakes is going to sit here for the next uh, 36 to 48 hours. So we do have a little pocket of some cooler, if not chillier air to contend with. And that chillier air is starting to move into the region tonight as we're clearing the skies out, getting rid of the clouds. Temperatures are running anywhere between 10 to 15 degrees below this time yesterday. So big change yesterday evening. Last night we were ahead of the cold front. Now we are behind it. We're going to have some post cold front weather, which oftentimes is nice and pleasant, but when you get deeper into the months of autumn and into winter, it gets colder and colder. Breeze coming in is occasionally breezy. We're getting gusts near 25 at times around the waterways. It'll help clear us out and it'll help drop our temperatures generally down to the 40s for the majority of us. That only that 50 degree low temperature is really for uh, Norfolk and the north end of of say Virginia Beach as the breeze will be coming off the waterways. The Outer Banks low 50s, but away from the waters. I mean, we're talking about lows in the low to mid 40s, so a little brisk, a little chilly tomorrow morning near 50 for Norfolk and Virginia Beach near 50 in the Eastern Shore, and we've got some 40s for the peninsula. So a little taste of November. Yeah, why not as we get into a wonderful Sunday because again, post cold front weather comes with some nice conditions, dry conditions. We'll see the breeze back off say about uh, mid to late morning, so it shouldn't be a totally breezy day. Uh, it'll be comfortable in the sunshine with temperatures eventually crawling to the 60s. Most of the morning we'll be sitting in the 50s through 10, even into about 11 a.m. We'll see temps in the upper 50s, barely at 60 degrees. Now the breeze will be backing off, so the cooler air is settling in, which sets up a chilly morning on Monday morning. I will call it chilly or crispy. Why not? We got temperatures again in the low 40s, but we have a better chance at seeing them maybe in the upper 30s in a couple locations well away from the water, well inland, so off towards the west. There could be some chillier conditions. We'll rebound those afternoon temps to near 70, and we'll see most of our conditions recover, or at least temperature-wise, recovering into the upcoming work week, week with a couple clouds by the end of the week and some rain chances by the next weekend's time frame.